Let us see what wonders of life this planet hosts. As well, Captain. Again, who do you think will be the first to ask us questions? Matteo or Noel? Got my attention, Captain. This is amazing. The, the, the unity, the multiverse, this is everything and more, literally. No kidding. Think of the dissertations. Boundless topics, no bounds. <laughs> Except the books, they're bound. This explains so much, though. They're disorganized, petty, weird, and also deeply fascinating at the same time. Because they are just people. We never rule that out, but it feels so good to know we weren't fighting against robot alien ghost gods or something. No, not even slightly. There are people who obtain power in some unfair way, and some of them have used that power to cause suffering, and others just didn't want to share. But that's what regular people do every day of the year. You're right. They've heard us in their quest for power. They've heard countless others. What if every other universe is in shambles because of them? We don't know. But it all comes back to this. We don't know what will happen if you enter the Unity. 
You might lose yourself or become a two-headed space shark. There are too many variables. Even so, I don't see how we can't do this. I really don't see another option. Of course, at the end of the day, it's your choice. But I will say this. Our entire purpose in Constellation is to explore. Why would we stop now? It's the nexus point for all universes with infinite possibilities. What could go wrong? I'm with you. I'm not gonna hold you back. But if you, you know, become evil or whatever, I'm also not gonna have your back. Anytime. The possibility of turning evil aside? <laughs> I appreciate you taking the lead on this. You're guiding Constellation to new frontiers, new discoveries, and we should all follow your example. Uh, on that note, there's something else I'd like to discuss with you, if you have time. It's not on the scale of entering the Unity, but it is tangentially related. Thanks. <laughs> this has been swirling in my brain goo for a while now. So, I've been pondering over what's happened and what it all means. And I've got a favor to ask. A teensy-weensy favor. About the size of a plank length, really. I think it's time I joined you in the physics bending powers business. <laughs> See if one of those temples works for more than just you. What, you think you're the only one who can walk around in a cape and tights? Granted, it's just a theory but I venture anyone who experiences visions from touching an artifact is now connected to them. You got a vision, I got a vision. You got a power, ergo. Marvelous. I'm glad you're as gung-ho about this as I am. As it so happens, I've already talked to Vladimir. Seems our eye in the sky is back up and running. He sent me the coordinates for the temple already. We just have to visit. Well, that ought to do it. Ever since I got here, you, you're, this has um, felt like home. <laughs> These people else. are family. I hope it feels that way for you, too. All good things, right? Heaven is having a smooth running ship with a crew of friends. Whatever you need.
If you're looking for supplies, th no problem. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Boost packs. Got those too. Just don't even bother with I have something for you. Take this. Enjoy. Don't be modest. Everyone likes gifts. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. My pleasure. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you.
prowls of New Atlantis don't make me uncomfortable exactly. But it does feel domestic in some way. Normal. Controlled. It makes me antsy. Good to be home, right? Okay. Scan me. Every time I see that statue, I feel it. I can't really explain why, but I do. Keeping the skies safe out there? <laughs> they drive a pretty hard bargain for new recruits. I certainly couldn't say no. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colony's newest Class 1 citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. <laughs> now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. Hi. 